so many of these things are like marginally existing, wanting to exist in some state of multiplicity or contradiction or possibility or impossibility. And that fascinates me, that kind of friction and disjunction. Disjunction is a huge part of what I'm trying to do. And when things become too harmonic or normative, they cease to be very meaningful to me. I might admire them in someone else's work and love that. But for me, when I do it, it feels like I just am not that. And what motivates me is a set of dissonances and wishes and contradictions inside of me that I think generates the work of mine that is the most interesting. You're always being able to see what the elements are, where they came from, how ridiculous they are, and that if the chemistry of them works for others as it works for me, something fires in the mind. The same magic that is in art from cave painting forward is also happening. So that art is simply life experience made visible in form. And that's why when I'm working on these things, I have a general drift of something's kind of exciting to chase. And then if it arrives as a finished piece, it's merely because when I look at it, it holds on to my mind that it is me. I can look at it and see life, see my mind, see human nature in it, even though it still is a bunch of caps and paper and rock repaired and a little piece of James Earl Jones. It's really important to say everything about really just to explain everything I was doing, all the steps.